When I'm lubing and sizing cast bullets, I often will stand them up on a tuna fish can and then when I have enough of these I'll set that over next to my press and load them. Now this works well depending on the bullet and it would work even easier. This is a Hensley and Gibbs number 39. This is a Hensley and Gibbs number 34, a 45 caliber bullet, and you can see that it would work more easily for a short fat bullet than a taller skinnier one. And uh, it probably wouldn't work very well at all for a bullet like that, the Lyman 266469, especially if I bump the table or the can, these tall skinny bullets would fall over. So one of the things I would do is I have a bullet tray and I can put sized and lube bullets in here. Now if I put this Hensley and Gibbs 39 in here it falls so deeply that I can't I can't pick it out of there. So my solution is to put a spacer in there and I have a Hensley and Gibbs S55 and I put that in as a spacer and that spaces up the bullet so that it's more easy to grab and I can get it out of there. Now the Hensley or the Lyman 466469 seems to work fine and even if I use the spacer that looks like it's not going to fall out of there and so I could probably do that one either way and so there's there's my solution of course is I have a bullet tray filled with the Hensley and Gibbs S45 bullets and then I can put my sized and lubed bullets, well the ones that are the correct diameter to fit, in here and then this isn't going to be spilled or knocked over and when I have that full of bullets I can just set that over next to the press and and pick them out of there and load and not spill bullets, not get the the lube contaminated by falling on the table or the floor.